think two or three. Great Britain. Bit of a way, isn't it? Toulouse, which we've already been to one day, or how's a Valerial Spain? That's a very, very short trip. One, two, or three. Put you put your thoughts into chat there. I might be able to get that one done in half an hour. I'll give what another I'll give another thirty seconds. Complete opposite where we need to go. Actually, I'm supposed to check to see if there's any others. Too late now. There isn't. And 30 seconds is up. I think this one, not only having a, a good amount, which will be enough to get us over. To be able to buy a our first truck. So hopefully I can get here in reasonable time and end the stream on buying a truck and hiring a our first worker with a bit of luck. So let's let's do this. And we're definitely gonna get a couple of day trips, I'm sure. More than night ones with a bit of luck. Depending if we get a detour. Actually before I do this. Let's just turn those down a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. That's way too many. I'll leave it up and um, ETS normally because the, the due to a distance normally ain't as bad as the one in eight years. I've always had eight years down quite a bit, but we'll turn that down a bit. Because um, I don't want too many of them, obviously, because it can end up making me go over time. Let's go pick it up. Let's go get the beer. With, with beer to England. Who would have thought? Won't be a refrigerated trailer either, will it? <laughs> Time is it? Yeah, well, I'm currently really hungry at the moment because, like I said, I didn't get to bed until six o'clock this morning and I actually woke up about midday and had breakfast then and my stomach's going, hang on a second. I haven't had my lunch. And for some reason, I, I took a, I had a diet years ago. I just decided to give it a go to see how it worked. And it was a, a diet you just were on for two weeks. And it was designed by the German Institute of Health, or whatever it is, um, and it's diet for people that need heart, urgent heart surgery, but too obese to be able to um, have the surgery. And it's supposed to get rid of uh, nine kilos in two weeks, and most of those go off in the first week because you lose the same percentage of your body weight when you when you're on a diet. Um, and of course, oh. Out the wrong one again. Um, as you start losing weight, that percentage, even though it's the same, um, it's it's a smaller number in comparison to the weight. So the second week you don't normally lose as much. And I tried it out, and I lost because I was working. Obviously, it's not designed for people that are working, but I was working, and um, I lost 12 kilos in two weeks. Which I didn't feel any difference, really. Not until uh, at the time I was working at a, uh, a petrol station and we used to fill up uh, propane bottles for you Americans. LPG was what we call it here. 
for gas heaters, nine kilo ones. So uh, the majority of them were roughly when they were totally filled was 18 kilos, but uh, my boss pointed out it was almost like the difference between an empty bottle and a full bottle of weight I lost, and that put it in perspective because uh, if you can, when you lift them up, put them down and fill them up and then lift them up again, you can really feel the difference in the weight. A noticeable difference and then uh, that really put it in perspective for me but ever since then every time I get hungry now I sneeze I don't know why I've done that diet twice uh, because what it, one thing it does is it resets your metabolism so you can eat whatever you like for about three years without and you won't put weight on And as far as diets go, it was pretty good, actually, in what you could eat. Uh, you had a week's worth of uh, set meals, and then you just repeated it for the second week. The only thing was, you could only drink water or black coffee. It was the only liquid you could have. Hence the reason why I only drink black coffees now. <laughs> The breakfasts weren't that good because it was just a bread roll and a black coffee. But the lunch and dinners, depending on the day, were really, really good. Like on the first day, I remember uh, for the first day, you you didn't have anything for breakfast except for a black coffee. And then you had lunch, which was a, a green salad and two boiled eggs which is not a good start, but then for the dinner, it was a medium-sized steak with a green salad, all you can eat. And then for the lunch the next day, it was the same thing. Right. And then and for then dinner that night, which was one of my favorite, because I, I love ham, was uh, you could have cooked ham, all you could eat. Right. And then one night you had uh, chicken, I think, on one night, and then uh, fish on another one. No, it wasn't that bad. Anyway, I did, the first time I did the diet, the final day of that diet happened to be Christmas Day, so I couldn't eat anything during Christmas. The, the huge meal and stuff for Christmas, and everyone's sitting there eating roasts and all sorts of barbecue and everything with pavlovas and trifles for the dessert and all that kind of stuff and I sat there and couldn't eat it and then um, Boxing Day was the first day and I couldn't wait because I used to have my coffees with milk and two sugars which we call state house coffee here or standard and um, I couldn't wait to have one of those and uh, I always worked on Boxing Day it was part of my contract that I had to do Boxing Day and I got into work that day and because I, I wasn't a big, I'm not a big water drinker either. I just don't like the taste of water. And it tends to dehydrate me every time. For the more water I drink during the day, the drier my mouth gets, and I act like I'm dehydrated, which is really bizarre. But that's just me. I am bizarre. Well, my body is the way it reacts to things. And um, yeah, I couldn't wait so I could stop drinking water. I could have a soft drink or something. But yeah, I got to work and I made myself a coffee and I put the milk in and I put the two sugars in. And I went to go and drink it and all I could smell was curdled milk. And ever since then, all I smell now, if I make a coffee for someone that has milk, I can actually smell curdled milk in the coffee, which I suppose makes sense. I mean, you're putting boiling hot water on cold milk. Now, if you add water into um, your cooking, you know, it um, curdles unless you, you, you put it in slowly and stir it to stop it from curdling. So I suppose that makes sense. It's just you don't see it, obviously. And I never smelled it like that before. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we need to change this trip, isn't it? It's um, bumper view. 
we can see more of the scenery, especially now we're going to come up to morning. Yeah, so that's the reason why I don't drink, I only have black coffees now. And black coffees apparently speed up your metabolism, it's um, better for you from what I hear, but then again, you never know. They change your chop and change your mind, don't they, when it comes to that kind of stuff, scientists. Right, I need to turn the sound down too. Oop, trying to do that while I keep my eye on the road. Whoa! Ow. Maybe I should wait for the straight. Now, of course, there's a. Toll booth here. That'll do for the moment. So hopefully it's not going to be too loud and you can still hear me. Yeah, so I threw the coffee out and just made myself a black coffee. And then I went and bought um, it's it's a water drink with a slight fruit flavour to it. I can't remember the name of it. We have it here once. I think you actually get it. This is the made by the um the god uh, what are the Gatorade and it was called My Zone and there was another one from another company. So it's basically water with a, a slight hint of um whatever fruit flavour tangerine I think the one I it was the one I got. And I drank that and it was so sweet. I couldn't believe how sweet it was because I had no, hadn't had sugar for two, anything with sugar in it for two weeks. Equishot, yeah. I'm trying to think who made it. I think it was probably all part of the Amtel group, that one. Which is the company here that imports Coca-Cola and deals with Coca-Cola. You get all your Coca-Cola drinks from you know, Sprite's Coke. Um, Fanta. Lemon and Pyrora, which is a New Zealand soft drink. Yeah, and lift. I wasn't happy with them for a long, long time. Do you remember the old uh, Lee drink, L-E-E-D? Mark at all? As far as I'm concerned, the best lemonade drink that was ever ever made. And then they bought the company out and stopped it so they could bring out their Sprite. Totally inferior product. Lead, the best best lemonade for a shandy. That's why it was 60. Thank goodness I was coming through there. I haven't tried that. I've actually never seen that.
Oh, gee, I don't get that much of an opportunity to buy myself soft drinks. The economy dictates it. On my end, of course. When I do, I generally go with Coke, which I love. Love Coca-Cola. Not as nice as it was when I was growing up. And I think uh, the closest I've ever tasted to the same Lee taste is 7-Up. I like that one a bit better than I like the Sprite. LMP goes well with Southern Comfort. Match made in heaven, that one, isn't it? Oh, it is here. Yeah. Oh, I have a look for it here. Unless you're saying yes, it is to the Southern Comfort. Of course, it's the old good old uh, stream delay. Yeah, I'll have a look, see if it's over here, Aussie. See, well, I'm going to have fun when you're in chat, Aussie, and then I've got Aussie Farmer and Aussie Medic in here. And I'll reply, yeah, that's right, Aussie. <laughs> Which one am I going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. LMP and Southern Comfort. Oh, it's fantastic. Lemon and Pyro, we call it LMP. Actually, I've been waiting for old... Um, I was going to send it to my mate in Sydney because uh, he, he's become a fan of um, Whitaker's Chocolate. And he tried the jelly tip one the other week. And I explained to him how that came about. That chocolate. And um, I've been waiting for Whitakers to bring out uh, the LMP one. Send it over to him. But they haven't done that for a while. I suppose I'd better explain what I'm talking about for the, uh, well, uh, I know it's sold in, uh, in Australia, I don't know if it's sold everywhere in Australia, but s since uh, Duck buys it, he's able to get it in Sydney, but uh, Dave might not know, actually no, we have, we've talked about it before, but anyone else is wondering what the Whitakers is, Whitakers is a New Zealand made cho brand of chocolate. Uh, they came very, very popular with uh, something called the Peanut Slab, which is a small block of chocolate with whole peanuts in it. It's absolutely divine. And their chocolate is really, really good. Really nice chocolate. You get gourmet chocolate with new ones. But what they've done in recent years is they've taken sort of Kiwi favourites to do with um, certain things like the jelly tip one. Over here we've got an ice block that's um, called a jelly tip where it's basically vanilla ice cream topped with a bit of a jelly thing, or a raspberry jelly thing on top of it and covered in chocolate. Known as a jelly tip and it's, that's really nice. So they made a chocolate similar to that, it's just really really good. Yeah, peanut, yeah, peanut slabs are awesome. And the LMP one is they did one that's, that's sort of the same flavour as the LMP drink, the lemon and pie and uh, it's got popping candy in it as well to emulate the fizz because it's been a fizzy drink. It's white chocolate that one, 
one up. I think it is. Real nice, nice white chocolate with this pretty good lemon flavour to it, not overpowering. And the popping candy. Yeah, we'll give them a go. The, the peanut sabs, give them a go. If you like your chocolate and you like peanuts. It's quite solid too. I mean, it looks like a small bay. You pick it up, it's, it's heavier than what you expect. And it's, um, yeah. You get uh, different ones like almond, gold, and a similar thing, and uh, raisin one. Is it nuts in it? I can't remember if it's nuts and raisin. And the old... Actually, now, now I've got a craving for an extra jelly tip ice cream, the good old tip-top jelly tip ice cream. Tip Top is our main brand as far as ice cream is concerned. It's been around for years. I know in Australia you've got Tip Top, but um, you don't get the ice cream, you just get the bread. Because they, they ventured into that. I don't think, I, I haven't seen actually Tip Top bread for a while. Yeah, raisin and nuts, yeah. Okay, it's going to be a lot shorter than I thought. 14, minute, uh, 14 hours away, not 14 minutes. Which is fine. Yeah, they do do dark chocolate. Hey, jeez. Just managed to look at chat and get my eyes back on the screen in time there. Yeah, they do. They do really good dark chocolate, actually. Whitaker's really good. Dark. It's not so bitter as a lot of other dark chocolates are. Even like they're really, really dark, dark ones. But um, yeah. oh, their almond dark dark chocolate and almond one is oh, they just managed to get blends of thing to work really well. That they get a, they get the perfect mix to get a really nice flavour when it comes to chocolate. And, and adding stuff. Yeah, for once I wasn't. I was. I, just, I saw it, and I went, then looked at the chat, and then went back over and saw him pull out. And I thought, you know, I should have realised that. I should have known better. Yeah, it is really good. Like I said, they're, they're really good with their dark chocolates and uh, really good with their mixes and flavours. Yeah, and um, I've seen a lot of people, I watch like some people on YouTube who taste testing this from this country. And uh, they, when they're doing New Zealand, they always get sent, they always get sent LMP. And they always get sent a uh, uh, peanut slab. And um, they, everyone loves the peanut slabs. And I love it when they do that. And it's a viewer that sends them, oh, you try this from our country. And then... Uh, they get a bundle from Australia, it's got tin teams in it. 
<laughs> then you get New Zealand to one sending over. Try out what we eat, our snacks, and they put a bunch of Tim Tams on it, a packet of Tim Tams on it. And it's like, okay, yeah, fine. We're technically Australian. It's just we love them over here. You can't beat a Tim Tam, especially. Yeah, pineapple lumps also get sent. Actually, I got tried um. Uh, milk bottle lumps. You know the milk bottle lollies? They've uh, they've done a pineapple lump like that with the milk bottle flavour, but it's just uh, it's mainly marshmallow. But they taste like the milk bottle lollies. It wasn't bad actually. Yeah, Tim Tam Sam. Yeah, greatest inventions ever. One of the greatest greatest things to ever. Ever do in life. So I'll explain it for people that don't know what we're talking about here, the Southern, Southern Hemisphere guys. There's a biscuit that comes from Australia that is absolutely brilliant called Tim Tam. Uh, biscuit cookie. And it's um, it's just two wafer, th uh, what is it? That's the best way to describe it. It's sort of like two not really wafer is it it's um but you got biscuit base and in between i'm trying to think what the equivalent would be in america i'm sure you've got something similar but in between you've got some uh chocolate ice icing or something like that and it's covered in this beautiful chocolate and it's a it's a decent size it's got good thickness to it <clears throat> and what you do with it to it's nice on its own but to increase the uh to increase the um, the experience of eating it, something just that extra, you know, to go, turning it to eleven to quote a Spinal Tap reference, is you bite off each end of the Tim Tam, and you use it as a straw with your coffee. So you suck your coffee through it, and it's just divine, messy but divine, worth it. Yeah, yeah, you can still get them, ice cream sandwiches. Yes, 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 yes. Apparently, I heard, I don't know if they're doing it here, apparently, um, in Australia, they're looking at changing the name. Because the PC brigades got onto it, as per usual. Maybe they could call it igloo pie. Are they? There goes your childhood memories. Made with real risky guys. before I gotta have a sleep. What are we, 11 o'clock? If I still got lights, I bet you I've still got my lights on. Let me just check. I've just turned them off. They we turn them on. Turn the high beams off, all right. What have I done? Oh, I've pressed the wrong button and put the handbrake on. That's what I did. <laughs> handbrake button's right next to the button to change the GPS 3D up. Uh, three hours and fifty minutes, so three thirty, yeah, I think, which means 
the last bit's going to be at night time. Oh no, I'm all right. I'm in the right lane, don't need to move over. Maybe I need to change the clutch settings. It was unexpected when I should have expected it. We're still 12 hours away. Oh, that's going to be a um, stream that's going to go a bit longer than usual, which is, um, tell you what, making it awfully fun <laughs> trying to do my 35 minute. Oh, ho, 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 that made my heart jump. 35 minute um, split with YouTube. 35 minute episodes. Actually, I've got to round that by adding extra episodes. <laughs> just can't be bothered anymore. I'll just go 35 minutes and 30 seconds. Now I've got about 20 second fade on the end of it for the volume, and then uh, start the next one. 20 seconds earlier to account for the fade. Actually, will I need to go to say, oh, just thinking. When I get to the channel, when I go on the train, I think that counts as a bit of a, a break. Don't know if it, it just takes a bit off or it actually restarts it, I can't remember. But also, I think there's some of them that are such a short distance, they don't, don't bother adjusting at all. I can't remember the ch if the channel crossing is one of those where it won't take it off the, the sleep time. Yes, yes I do. You used to get the triangle ones as well and you used to put them on top eh, and make it look like a sailboat. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. I get that what you're, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, because you had those and you used to be able to buy, well, they're pretty much like these kind of pies without the chocolate. And you put those in between the, the two wafer. And, um, well, you got the triangle one, which you used to have with the ice cream with a hundred and thousands on it. Yeah, K-bars, yeah. Destroy your tooth bars. Destroy your teeth bars. Used to get them at the tuck shop at school. Always a good idea, giving sweets away to kids as, at school. What, what could possibly go wrong? Kids and sugar. Middly though, back when we were at school, we were a lot more active as kids at school because there wasn't any PC going on, so you did get used to rid of that energy. Oop. Actually, I noticed there was a um, school up in Auckland a few years back, Mark, that um, decided to throw all the PC thing out the window. 
and it turned out like um, the kids are fine. They, they they didn't not not many were hurt. They you know they decided yeah you let us skateboard, you let us climb trees and all that kind of stuff and see how we go. And I think it was actually for um, a, a bit of research for Otago.